welcome Pika Army. And as you know, you asked for it, so it is here. Episode two of the podcast. How are we doing, comrade? Yes, I'm doing good. I'm very excited for episode two. Just two of us today, but it's going to be a good one. Yeah, of course. Unfortunately, Luke has gone to Pakistan. No, 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 guys, we've got an announcement to make actually <laughs> around Luke. And unfortunately, he has gone to Axie Infinity. <laughs> Just joking. Yeah, no, don't take that one too seriously. He's actually gone to uh, see the development of some very, very big things coming. And I know what's about to be dropped. It's going to be Alpha. There's going to be some stories and there's going to be some amazing information just for you guys. So stay tuned for the rest of this show. For sure. And I think Luke will be doing another episode soon. Yeah, yeah that More is More about the game development and everything we are working on with Orbit Cosmos behind the scenes. Um, but yeah, we haven't stopped, guys. We really wanted to do episode two. So we're doing it for you. And yeah, let's jump into it. Exactly. And uh, just like he said, we're missing you already, Luke. But, you know, we'll see you very, very soon. And of course, comrade, there's a lot going on at Pika right now. You know, do you want to share a little bit about the valuation and what crypto and Pika is all about? For sure. I mean, w let's start off with what a launch. Yeah. Absolutely seamless. That is you true. Know, we were number one trading coin on both Maxi and BitGet. Yeah. Um, our volumes have been very impressive. And right now, Pika is still around 350% up from its launch price. Now, I know a lot of the audience have invested in pre-sales, which have promised a lot and then probably dumped on launch or not performed how they should have. Let me just repeat, Pika right now is at 350% up from the launch price. And that's at the phase three valuation, right? Phase two and phase one investors will be actually a higher percentage up. Okay, so we've done absolutely amazing. The market has been a little bit choppy, a little bit bearish, sure. yet we are still holding over 100, 110, 120 million fully diluted market cap. So I think it's not only a testament to us and the team, yeah. Pika Moon, Orbit Cosmos, but also to the community who are believing, who are sticking with us and can see what is coming. And yeah, we're going to explain how we're comparing to some of our competitors. But for now, we've made an amazing start and it is just the beginning. Yeah, that's amazing. But comrade, we have so much more to say. So can you give some insights into the market caps? Sure. Firstly, like I said last time, this is not financial advice. And I can just merely do some comparisons um, and don't take anything as advice, guidance, etc. But as I just said, we're holding 100 million market cap above that, which is amazing. However, our competitors like Axie Infinity, like at the Sandbox, like Alluvium, Axie Infinity and Sandbox have a circulating market cap of around $1.4 billion yeah. dollars, compared to our circulating supply market cap of around $35 million right now. Yeah. So simple maths, if we were to retain those types of valuations, would put us at you know a 40 to 50x from here in terms of the market cap that we could achieve. And that's obviously our target. So like I said, we've done an amazing start, but our potential is much greater in comparison to our competitors. And yeah. that's how much I think I can say on that. Definitely, um, yeah. To stay above board. <laughs> but we're very <laughs> bullish and excited, as you guys can imagine. Exactly. And that is some great alpha for every single person in the community. But it doesn't stop there. We also have things such as vesting schedules, tokenomics, and FDLs. Can you just explain a little bit more about that to the community? Because I think there is some people that wanted some information there. Absolutely. I think the biggest question we've been getting, Nick, is about the difference between the circulating supply, which is the current... Yeah active supply on the market, which is the number of tokens actively liquid times by the price, which is our currently $35 million ish yeah. versus the FDL, which is the fully diluted market cap, which is the total number of tokens in our case, 50 billion, uh, 50 billion tokens 
times by the price. So the FDL is the overall value of the token ecosystem and the circulating supply is just what's active on the market. In terms of the vesting schedules, they are very simple. You know, phase three, we're able to claim on launch. Phase two, a month after that. And phase one, two months after that. In terms of the tokenomics, again, what I would say is go to our official website, pcommune.io. We have a very nice white paper in the footer of the website. Review the whole white paper, but there is also a tokenomics section. But if you spend five minutes on, you're going to see exactly where all the tokens are going towards. Yeah, amazing. And if you actually just jump in the description of the YouTube video as well, you'll be able to see a link that we'll provide to make life easy for you guys. But we wanted to also go into the development process. You know, everyone is saying, how are we the next big thing? How are we going to be the number one game in crypto? So, Comrade, obviously the bait is there. You can play it on iOS and Google, but what do we have coming? Sure, I think to go into the beta first, look, talk is cheap. Alluvium, yeah. last bull run, delivered absolutely nothing and went to billions of dollars in valuation. Here at Peak Moon, we invested and we made sure that we had a beta game out for all of you guys to play before the pre-sale had even ended. And as you guys know, we slowed down marketing to ensure that the beta was out before the pre-sale ended, before we then launched, because you're only as good as your products in crypto. Of course, we know it's about marketing and community, but we wanted to give you guys a flavor of the game and we've done that. So that's a huge milestone. Yeah. Like compared to all of our competitors who launched three years ago, four years ago, we're well ahead of them in the, uh, in the development journey already. Yeah. Now, as you know, Luke's away and we've got 50, 60 developers working constantly. I'm sure you guys saw they're actually working on the weekends right now. We're improving the beta. The open world development has begun. And, you know, we want to show you continuous development to show the faith and obviously give you the best game in crypto. That's what this is all about. So we're building as quickly as possible. And again, I think we're going to go into it later, but we just increased the size of our office in Pakistan because yeah. we've got so many people hiring and joining us right now. Exactly. And it's funny you should say about some of our competitors. For instance, Sandbox actually took nine months to raise in their pre-sale, raising $3 million, while we did exactly the same amount of time and we raised a double. So it just shows... In a bear market. Yeah, in a bear market. But look, we've moved on from that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, that we're trading at a very strong valuation with good volume and good support from the community, and that's the most important thing. Exactly, yeah. And you guys are the team. You know, we haven't done this by ourselves. We are ready to move forward. So we can only thank you for what's about to come. Sure. And I think Nick's... I think what would be good now is for you to drop a bit of alpha about the Pika Hub. Yeah. Now, guys, I'm sure you saw on X at Pika Moon Coin that we released a little teaser, a sneak peek video showing the Pika Hub. Sure. And yeah, I think it is our transition from Web 2 to being a fully fledged Web 3 um, game. That's correct. Do, do you want to just introduce the Pika Hub from a high level initially, Nick? Yeah, of course. So as you guys know, we are developing more than just a game. We want to integrate a Pika Hub. This is to make life easy for the community so that you guys can have a good workaround space. And as you know, in a lot of crypto projects, they do create their own hubs. So it only felt right that we dropped this early before anything else. Now, of course, we also have things such as staking coming to this. Now, you guys know there is three different periods in the staking platform. So as soon as you guys jump into the staking, it is going to be first come, first serve. So you could have a bigger and larger equity in the pool and you can stake all of your tokens as soon as possible, which will only increase your total number of Pika tokens, which is going to be incredible for you in the long run. You'll be able to integrate this into the marketplace where we'll have our own NFTs, you'll have your own potions, which you'll be able to level up your NFTs, your Pika inside the game. And of course, what does that really mean? So in the metaverse, you'll be able to have a higher level Pika Moon, 
which will then increase your rewards long term. And it means that you'll have one of the biggest, baddest boss in the biggest game in Web3. And that is what it is all about at the end of the day. We want to be at the top. You want to be the number one on the leaderboard, which you will see, and it will be a refresh and start brand new. So this is just a couple of things that are coming straight as the features. So you do not want to miss. And if you have not seen the video yet, it is on the YouTube, it's on the Twitter. We'll probably leave a link in the description as well to that, but make sure you haven't missed that video. Great, and I think, yeah, one thing to say, guys, is the marketplace will eventually be integrated into the Pika Hub as well. That's not gonna come on V1 because we want to get the staking out to you guys as soon as possible. So, you know, we've heard the feedback. Um, we want Pika making you guys money in your sleep. Uh, so to speak. And, you know, we're, we're working to get that out as soon as possible because I know we've got a lot of whales who are messaging us every day saying when staking, when staking, <laughs> when staking. So, yes. yeah, we love the energy, guys. We hear the feedback and we are actively working on it. Yeah, exactly. And it's something that we guys, you know, we want to make sure that you guys are happy. So if you do have any questions as well, you can head to the Discord. It is 24-7 and we are here to help with a full community now comrade of course we've got the game enhancements and they are going to be some 2d to 3d transitions now i thought i'd go into a little bit of this but there are some new characters some nft integration i was just wondering if you wanted to drop some bombshells for the community on that sure i think the nfts are coming guys yeah. again that's the biggest thing all the guys who invested in the pre-sale if you hold your Pika tokens, you are going to be able to claim your NFTs via the free mint. Yeah. Now, what's exciting is internally, we have set two dates. Number one is the snapshot. We want to see how much Pika is in your wallet right now compared to how much you invested and the comparison from the pre-sale. So that snapshot is coming up very soon. We will be telling you when that is. <laughs> Uh, so don't worry, we'll be saying it very publicly. And number two will then be the actual mint day, okay? So it's very simple. Hoddle your Pika and you are going to get your free NFTs. Exactly. When the NFTs are dropped, they're going to go absolutely crazy because how many are there, Nicks? There is 27,018 NFTs. Perfect. And of course, again... Why do you think the development team is working so hard? We're looking at ways to get the NFTs integrated into the beta so you can start playing with your characters, start getting to know them, yeah. giving them confidence, <laughs> winning some battles, and really bring, building that companionship with your NFTs, which is what NFTs are all about. And obviously flexing on the rest of the Pika army if you do have a god. Exactly. And remember, there are only 18 gods. These are going to be some of the rarest items in Web3. You know, we've seen things like the Bored Apes. What did they go to? I think some sold for around 5 to 10 million. And this is something that you'll be able to hold as a free asset. But the floor price is already set at around about $300 from the last claim. So that is also a 100% ROI, which has been seen from purchase. But we are giving them all away for free. And another thing I did want to just drop is the team is getting zero. So if there is a god out there that myself, Luke, or Comrade want, then we're going to have to purchase it off our own marketplace from one of you legends. But that is just a little bit of alpha. And I know myself, I've seen some very good NFTs there, which, you know, I'm not getting any. And there's definitely some I'm going to be sweeping the floor. So you best not list them too cheap. But in terms of the uh, open world, you know, there's been so, so many questions. And this is what is it all about. The number one game with a campaign, a story mode, a full beta battle arena which will be integrated all into a pc version of this game and the reason this is all going ahead is because we know development does not stop here and we will continue to improve on this and just as comrade said our team is working right now on something very very special to bring you but we aren't going to drop that just yet there is some very, very big sneak peeks coming, maybe. 
but we'll see if we can drop them very soon. Now that is completely up to the team and we'll talk about that very, very soon. But moving on from that, of course, did you want to say anything about the AA quality and why this big thing might be dropped soon? I think guys, hold tight for two weeks and you're gonna know exactly what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah. We're about to make so much noise that it's gonna be hard to miss, even if you still will only read the newspaper, <laughs> okay? So again, guys, we like saying what we're gonna do and then delivering, but I'm just gonna stay quiet on this. I'm extremely bullish and towards the end of the podcast, I'm gonna say that. <laughs> and Luke does have some big things that he's gonna share. That's why he's actually gone to Pakistan. So he's gonna bring a lot of alpha back with him for podcast episode three. So don't miss that either. It'll be coming very soon. But moving on from that, of course, just as we spoke about, you know, it's all about expansion in this company. It's about growing from within and giving people a chance at a better life as well. So comrade, obviously Orbit Cosmos, it's growing every single day. Can you share some light on what's going on right now? Because I know the community wants to know. Absolutely. And I shared actually, like I said, the sneak peek of the team working weekends right now for you guys, for us, which I firstly just want to applaud and thank the Orbit Cosmos team because the atmosphere, the energy, you know, the culture at Orbit Cosmos is unparalleled, certainly for any company in Pakistan, which we're very proud of. Internal promotions, giving confidence, allowing people to make their own decisions, allowing them to feel comfortable to take risk is how we're gonna to continue to grow as a company. Yeah. Now, as it stands, guys, I believe we have 70 full-time employees at Orbit Cosmos. Crazy. Orbit Cosmos is powering Peak Moon, as you guys know, which is absolutely crazy. And just to put this into context, we've taken out two floors of a massive tower in the middle of Islamabad. And this will be the third time that we're moving offices within six months next. Madness. We started with an office for 15, 20 people. We outgrew it within a month. We moved to an office of 60 people <laughs> and we've outgrown it within three, four months. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this crazy. new office guys will be able to cater for 200 plus people. That's how big we are thinking. That's how big we know this is gonna go. That's how many people we need to build a AAA game, okay? Again, we've taken feedback from the team. They wanted a prayer area. They wanted a chill out area. They wanted a pool table that we're getting a full-time chef. We're creating a complete hub for the Orbit Cosmos team to A, improve their happiness, improve their motivation, but also then that's gonna reflect in the work. Yeah. So again, if you guys follow me on LinkedIn, I did a post about this yesterday. It's got 20,000 views on LinkedIn. 40% of those viewers are software developers, game developers, creatives within Pakistan. We are hiring and more importantly, we are attracting the best talent in Pakistan every single day, which is unbelievable. Again, we are super grateful for it. Every job that we're putting out is getting 300 to 400 CVs. Yeah. We've got five people working full-time in HR to again, sieve through the CVs, have the interviews, get them through the rounds. So guys, we are working super hard to keep building the team, to keep delivering for you. And that is what Orbit Cosmos is all about. I think we've got 7,000 followers on LinkedIn. Go and follow Orbit Cosmos on LinkedIn. Yeah. They're showing sneak peeks. Get involved, give the team some encouragement. And yeah, it's just absolutely amazing what we're doing there. Yeah, and I know I've spoken to Comrade and Luke a lot about this. And what they actually have been saying is we want to build the web free Google. Now, this is going to be massive. Of course, we all know what Google is. Well, I hope you do. Otherwise, you've been living under a rock, I can only assume. But it's the thing of we want this to be the next hub where you can go, you can learn, and you can grow in a company which values every single thing you do. And I even know because I think in the mornings you even gave a bonus to make sure people were there on time <laughs> for travel. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Guys, again, Luke, Nix, and myself, nothing's more important than time, respect, and organization. So 
we did actually include a monthly bonus where if you just purely turn up on time, we're going to pay for your travel on top of your normal salary, on top of your other bonuses, on top of everything else. Again, just because we appreciate people turning up on time. It's as simple yeah, as that. Exactly. How you do something is how you do everything. So if our developers are all there 15 minutes before, they've all got their coffees, they've had their banter, they've had their little chats, and then they're ready to attack the day, I can guarantee you we're ahead of other gaming studios across the world because we're all there, we're all focused, we're all on the same timeline, and you know, no one, there's no one exception to anyone in the company. Yeah, yeah. You know that yourself, <laughs> I know that yourself. If we're late, which we rarely are. We're yeah. calling each other out and we expect our employees to call us out as well. Exactly. We actually have a rule <laughs> where if you're late to a meeting on Google Meets, it's instantly 20 press-ups, instantly or 20 burpees. Yeah, but... And the meeting will not start until you do that. And the only time I can think that we were late is actually on launch day yeah. because we had so much going on. <laughs> we were late to a company meeting, but it was quite funny and our team thankfully let us off. But uh, yeah, yeah. We actually still did though. We did 10 press-ups each, if you remember me, you and Luke, we were yeah. all there. Yeah, so even though they let us off, we were like, no, we've committed. We would make you do this. So it's only right and fair that we join in on this act. But obviously the f future development plans and vision, you know, this isn't just where it's going to stop here, is it? You know, there's so much coming. There's so many people that are going to be onboarded. You know, can you just share a bit about the future of Orbit? Sure. I think you nailed it on the head when talking about Google, you know, yeah. we want to be the biggest gaming studio in the world. Yeah. And again, people laughed when we launched the pre-sale in the bear market. They laughed when we said we we're going to put a beta out, et cetera, et cetera. And people will watch this right now and they will laugh. Yeah. But I promise you, Luke, myself, Nix, we will not stop until we achieve our goals. You know, yes, we've got a 200-man office, which might be good for us for a year. Yeah. But we've already got visions of buying land and building our own office, which can cater up to a 1,000 people, guys. Yeah. You know, if we want to be the best game, and I'm not just talking about the best game fi project, I'm talking about the best game in the world. Yeah. We need the best developers and the best team and the most people working on that game because we're not doing justice to our community to only be attacking the game fi community. We need to be mass adopting everyone from Web2, and that takes so many different people <laughs> in so many different departments. You know, I'm just looking at the team structure right now. You know, we've got a whole department for website SEO and traffic. Yeah. We've got a whole statistical analysis team <laughs> just for the website SEO. We've got social, social media hacking. Yeah. And, you know, how can we grow on Reddit? How can we grow on Instagram? Yeah. We've got divisions for that. We've got a whole UI UX team. Obviously, we've got the core development team, you know, the full stack developers, the DevOps, the front end, the web, web, the web WordPress developers, et cetera, et cetera. We've then obviously got the blockchain team, because yeah. surprising, we're a blockchain <laughs> project. We've then obviously got the Unity team, exactly. which has got lots of people. We've got the creative team. We've then got the social media content team. Yeah. How do you think we're able to effectively put out so much content every single day? Exactly. We've then got the HR and accounting team, and then we've got the partnerships team. Then yeah. we've got, <laughs> obviously, the executive team that, obviously, we sit in. But, yeah. guys, there's a lot more to peak a moon and doing a few tweets than you can even imagine if we are to achieve the goals that we want to achieve. Exactly. So it's more of the same investing in the ecosystem, investing in peak moon, investing in Orbit Cosmos. If we sure. continue to do that, we're going to continue to grow. We're going to get more users. We're going to get more eyes on and the sky's the limit. Exactly. And I just wanted to give a big shout out to the peak moon team as well. They have actually been hired from within the community, such as John, Matthew, the kid, and so many others. And all they have done the entire time is help. And this is going to go far and wide. So if you do believe you could be part of the team, make sure you're active, be in the Discord 24-7 and help when help is needed because it's all okay 
doing something when you're asked. But what we love at Peak Moon and Orbit Cosmos is when we see something happen without us even batting an eyelid, which is what so many of our mods have shown. And because this company is going to be so, so big, it won't stop here. It will just continue to grow throughout this year. So a big thank you to everyone at Orbit, a big thank you to everyone at Peak Moon. This would not be possible without each and every single one of you. But moving on from that, of course, we did have some questions from the community and we do feel like you guys should be valued every step of the way. So Comrade, um, I think some people will actually sent these questions just for you. Um, but how does Pika's performance compare to major players like Axie Infinity during their peak? Okay, I, I'm going to be careful not to get <laughs> say anything that would get me sued or fined. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I already did say it. Look, in comparison to Axie Infinity and the Sandbox guys, our current trading market cap is 40 to 50 times smaller. Yeah. Okay. And now that's not financial advice. That's just a mere comparison. If you go on CoinGecko, you put Pika Moon in or, yeah. and, or you then compare it to the sandbox, you can see we're a lot smaller. So during the peak, I believe the question was, yeah. of the last bull run. Peak. And from my opinion, the altcoin season, the game fine narrative hasn't really kicked off yet. No. You know, there is a lot more potential upside potential yeah. with what we've got going on in Definitely. Peak Moon. No, not only the fact that we've got so much more development to come, we're getting approached by so many different influencers nowadays. They can yeah. all see the potential. They love the fact that we do podcasts. They love the fact that we're docs. They love the fact that we're powered by a software company that only works for us because we own it. Yeah. <laughs> right. We're getting a lot of credibility from a lot of big people in the space who are doing partnerships with behind the scenes, who are making offers to us which are all going to come to fruition very soon so yeah. not only has the old season not begun yeah. which is very exciting Massive. we're quite early you know the bitcoin halving is like a week away or, or very soon yeah um we also do have a lot of stuff in the background which is going to help get peak moon global help get more users more holders more gamers yeah. So we have a lot going on, and to compare to the peak of Axie Infinity, we're nowhere near it yet, exactly. which is super exciting for anyone in our ecosystem. Exactly, and just some alpha for everyone. It's about eight days until the halving of Bitcoin. And if you go and look a little bit of research yourself, we won't drop any alpha here because we always say, do your own research. You will understand what that really means for everything in crypto. But comrade, also scaling up the team, you know, so many people are like, why do we need so many people? And how will that affect the roadmap and delivering on time? Sure. Great question. Obviously, we did co cover quite a lot of this a little bit yeah. earlier. But guys, the more talented, passionate and hardworking people we have in this team, and this doesn't matter for what business you're in, the more you're going to be able to do, the more customer feedback you can take on in real time and adapt in real time and deliver results for your customers in real time. Yeah. It's about having motivated people who are willing to almost die for the company who believe in the vision. And I think what's so cool is the team tokens, which we've sold zero of. Very true. And you can check that on Etherscan yeah. if you look at the 100K tokens that we burned. We are actually giving everyone in our company team tokens, which is super bullish for you guys and our long-term thinking because the bigger Pika Moon becomes and more valuable Pika gets, the more our team will be rewarded as well. So they're not just getting their standard salaries. The higher that they can help us go in terms of number of users and the whole general ecosystem, the more they're going to get back. And you know, again, to come back, our team tokens are vested for 36 months, guys. Yeah. The pre-sale tokens were only vested for a maximum of three months. Yeah. You know, in theory, we're 12 <laughs> times more bullish <laughs> than the pre-sale holders because we've put our vesting period for so long. Exactly. But yeah, yeah, look, we're scaling up. Again, what I would say is become active, get on LinkedIn, follow all the Cosmos. You can see all the new hires. You can see all the new jobs. You can see us welcome every single new person to the company. Definitely. And yeah, just do your own research, have fun with it. 
Don't start annoying people, <laughs> sending them loads of messages, stick to the Discord chat for that. But yeah. if you are curious, yeah, jump in and, and do your research, guys. We're, we're growing rapidly. Exactly. And I do get thousands and thousands and thousands of messages now. So if it does take me a minute to get to you, you know, I do love to try and make sure that everyone is heard. But unfortunately, there is so many people in our community now that if I try to do that every day, I wouldn't do anything else. Yeah, just to jump in next before the next question, I think, guys, what you've got to realize is this has become a lot bigger than Nick's, Luke, and myself. So at the start, obviously, Luke, Nick's is our co-founder and head of community. But guys, he takes on a lot more things than just looking after chats. <laughs> okay, I can assure you of that because I live with him 24-7. <laughs> And I can, you know, we annoy each other with how much we demand of each other, you know. Exactly. So it's as we grow, as we try and hit our milestones and achieve our milestones, you know, our responsibilities change. You know, we've got 14 to 15 admins now who are in the group chats, who we train, who we give answers to, to help answer your questions 24 seven in real time. It's not fair to expect Nick's to reply to 200, 300, 500 messages a day, which I know he does get. <laughs> and trust me guys, he would reply if it wasn't for me telling him to relax and focus on bigger things because we, of course, we appreciate you guys, but we need to grow as a company. And Nick's is very good at several other things which help the company in the background. So I just wanted to say that. Exactly. No, thank you very much. And it's just the passion we all give each other to push us to ourselves along and each other. But without you guys, it would not be possible. So thank you. But of course, we haven't done this alone. We have done it with the community, but we have done it without one thing. And that is what most crypto companies would not be able to do. And what is that, Comrade? That's a great question, Nicholas. <laughs> I think you're talking about VCs. Yes. Okay, so I presume this is another question from the community. Yeah. Yes, guys, that is correct. We had no VCs or private investors in the pre-sale. Now, why is that interesting? The fact that we're now sitting at 350% up yeah. from our launch price is because... There is no one selling, guys. The only people who are selling are pre-sale holders who want to realize a bit of equity, fair enough, yep. or people who bought in at launch and are now selling at the higher valuations because we're up three and a half X. So yeah. again, what I said at the start of the podcast is a lot of pre-sales, they launch and then dump instantly. 80% down, 70% down. It's because they have not valued their token. They have sold themselves short before the project had even started. Yeah. They had bent over and given random people <laughs> their tokens at an underpriced valuation with no vesting periods, yeah, with yeah. no cliffs, which then allow them to dump on the community or the pre-sale investors or people looking to get in at launch. We did not allow that to happen. For sure. We believed in ourselves. We believed in Peak Moon. We believe in the vision long term. And, you know, because of that, we're now in a very strong position and we've backed up the launch. We've been saying for months, <laughs> no VCs, vesting period. We're looking out for you guys and it's all played out perfectly. Exactly. Are we resting on our laurels? Absolutely not. We're increasing marketing every day. Yeah. We're looking for new holders every day. But no VCs, it's been a blessing. And I'm glad you guys understand it now from looking at the price. Exactly. And just to go further on from that, we were self-funded completely. You know, when we started this, myself, Comrade, Luke, we put pretty much everything we had into the project, even before we had raised a single dime. And to say that, to back ourselves, is something I've never actually seen in crypto. Comrade's been in the space since 2016. I've been in 2017. Same with Luke. And it is absolutely amazing that we can take a community, almost guide them into the right time of crypto. You know, the bull market is around the corner. We have literally got the halving in eight days. And it's just because we're in this together that we are going to reach the heights and become the number one game. So don't stop. Now, but of course, there are some other questions. I sure, think I think next it would be good for you to maybe answer yeah, some no of questions. Yeah, of course. And just quickly on your last point, obviously Luke and I have had a fund since 2016. Exactly. So we were in a very strong position, but what I would say is Nick's went balls deep. Yeah. 
and it's why he's so passionate and why he's been so passionate from day one. Not only because he invested pretty much all his money, but he does love Peak Moon, obviously, yeah. he's the number one. But For sure. hats off to this man because not many people would jump in with Luke and myself in a bear market and drop everything and go 100% into this. So, yeah. again, you got your respect. Um, we shouted you out last <laughs> episode, but I want to do it again. This guy is crazy. We absolutely love him. He's a bit of a nightmare sometimes, <laughs> but it's Nix. Exactly. So we, ca we, we can't complain. So Nix, what platforms will the game be out on? Yes, yeah, so that's actually a very good question from the community. And of course, at the moment, you can download the beta on the Google Play and the App Store. The links will be down below. But the real mass metaverse will be on PC. And why is this? Now it is to actually see the full development in the big picture. Now, of course, as you know, on an iPhone, on any phone, the graphics are not always as good as you would see on something like a desktop, a Mac, you know, and that is sort of the idea we want to get across because this is no small game. I can assure you of that. This is going to be an absolute dream. You've seen Fortnite. It's something that we've prided ourselves a lot on growing as a mass metaverse, but we want to make it even better. You know, we've in integrated so many other games. So make sure you're ready with your PCs, you've got your mouse, you've got your keyboard, you're ready to tap those buttons because it's not going to be easy. You know, it's going to still be a very complicated game, but it is going to be mass adopted worldwide. Amazing answer fired me up myself. <laughs> um, okay, cool. I think we've got two more community questions. Yes, what no worries. What's happening with the beta battle system right now? Yeah, so of course, we've actually got a full team in-house at Orbit, and they are developing in every single area. Now, of course, you guys know the ELO rating was something we wanted to improve, and that is actually going on continuously. Now, before, it was a little bit hard, and we do admit that, to multiplayer, to match make up. But I actually played Comrade the other day and we are nowhere near each other on the leaderboard. And you know, I don't want to say anything. I rage quit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, Saw Crow came out of nowhere and then suddenly defeated pretty much all three. And I would say that's probably my favorite NFT, just dropping that in there for everyone. But, <laughs> but it is the thing of, we are also going to be increasing everything in the beta battle, such as sounds, music, and there is so much more. more. Yeah, more characters as well. More moves. More, moves. more, arenas. more arenas, you know. Maybe a little walk around. A little oh, oh, maybe. I think that might be coming as well. A bit more of a story mode that you'll be able to see the big picture. But we'll save that maybe for the end there. It might be something uh, showing you. But, yeah. All right, last community question then. How can people be part of the Pikmin team, Pikmin support? Yeah, okay, so great. So we actually do have about 560 ambassadors already that are jumping in on Zeely information, task, and they are helping grow naturally. Now, of course, we could ask you guys to do this for free, but we actually do give around about $1,000 of USDT away. Now, what we've said between us is that if we can get this ambassador group up to 1,000 members, we will double the rewards, so you'll be able to win $1,000 of Pika and $1,000 of USDT. So make sure you are helping grow from the inside. But if you did want to become part of the admin team, part of the mods, we will be expanding worldwide. So there is going to be a lot of translation needed. For instance, we've just gone for the next people such as Spanish and Portuguese with massive translations coming to grow globally. But we do want you to try and think for yourselves. Now we do have Dina on hand 24 seven in the ambassador chat, but we can assist. And there is so many tasks for you to do. So make sure you're following every social, but if you already are, you can go and get your XP and start your way up the ranking leaderboards. So I hope that is some alpha for you there. Cool. But yeah, no, of course, let's move on from there because myself, Comrade, we've been working behind the scenes right now 
to get the biggest mass marketing campaign crypto web three probably even web two has ever seen so comrade how can we strategize and increase visibility visibility and investment worldwide sure in terms of marketing specifically exactly yeah sure i think again it comes back to understanding crypto understanding crypto culture understanding our demographic specifically in terms of what you know what does a crypto investor like watching what yeah. what platforms are they on what influences are they engaging in what trends are hot right now in crypto so a you've got to really know your shit yeah. in crypto <laughs> how many projects try and start every day and and die the next day you know yeah. you've, we you've got to know your stuff and you've got to have the knowledge that we do and more importantly the connections we do yeah. and you know the community we have behind the scenes due to our hard work due to us being docs where we can speak to the people we need to speak to nearly at any time yeah. so knowing people is very important in crypto definitely um and a lot of people don't realize that it's a very small circle and once you're in that circle if you're respectful if you keep your your word you honor yeah. and deliver then you're always going to be strong and you're always going to be able to find the next new things and marketing tricks yeah i think in terms of investment return we've now come to the stage where a yes we still need to build and become a lot bigger but we're at a stage where we are happy and we are very big right now so we're not partnering with anyone yeah right people are making offers to us people are coming to us and of course we are still reaching out to certain people um, but we have a lot of deals and negotiations going on in the background and i think how are we going to increase our investment return is only partnering with influencers who really care about peakman who actually understand our vision who actually want to play the game who want to come on amas who want to tweet about us you know yeah it's not the days of just paying people to share all stuff and it doesn't convert guys we know that yeah we want real partnerships long-term partnerships and real connections and friendships with these guys because that's the only way to stay consistent and be on their feed for a long time and actually educate them about our ecosystem so yes we're very active we're making new deals but they've got to be the right deals with the right people who have good intentions who aren't just looking to manipulate our community exactly and we do have some very very big things happening behind the scene but every day we're reaching out to new influencers and they are also reaching out to us which is only increasing the roster so comrade how many people do you think we're going to have for this something very big we'll save it till the end but roughly tell the people how many people are going to be helping us mass market this two numbers and <laughs> if they can be bothered they can see that we're going to back this up yeah we're going to have 150 youtubers yeah for this announcement that's coming and at least 100 people on x yeah okay all talking about what's about to drop yeah. and this is our biggest campaign since we started peakering yeah let me roll it back <laughs> two months one month pre-sale sold out we sold one and a half million dollars with about 30 to 40 kols yeah we've got a, that was just youtube yeah that was just youtube yeah, yeah. we've got 150 on youtube lined up and over a hundred on X lined up for this announcement, guys. Okay, so if you talk about collaborations, <laughs> KOL, international expansion, we are going to go absolutely nuclear. As Nick's touched on as well, we're massively expanding into Spanish and Portuguese markets. Yeah. You will see soon see the website translations for those two languages. And as part of those new KOLs, we've got Spanish people, we've got Portuguese people all around the world because those are two markets which love GameFi and l understand the narrative hence why we're moving into that market again Korea is coming as well yeah but we're focused on Spain and Portugal and they are going to be all part of this new campaign and huge announcement which is coming yeah. but yeah I think Nick's what would be good is what do you think the potential of the overall crypto market is this bull run I reckon we're going to go to about $8 trillion. Wow. 
Yeah. And um, what did it go to last time? It went to around about 3 trillion, which is just amazing. So the growth is already starting. As you guys know, the ETF for Bitcoin happened and it's bringing in around about a 10x of the Bitcoin valuation, I believe. Is that correct? Um, uh, yeah, so the emission rate yes. of Bitcoin every day is exactly. about to be halved with the halving. But right now, ETFs are gobbling up Bitcoin at 10 times the rate of the emission rate. So yeah. new Bitcoin being released from mining. Exactly. So what this actually means is that this bull market should be the biggest we have ever seen. Not and, financial advice. <laughs> yeah, not financial advice. But it's just something that we believe ourselves from the growth we have seen from the very early days of us getting into crypto. And this is why we also believe Peak Moon is about to be one of the biggest games because we've started and we've built during a bear market. It's something that some people couldn't even believe we had raised $6 million in this bear market, which only put us in one of the strongest positions going into this bull cycle. Yeah, amazing answer, Nick. And I think to summarize, the overall crypto market is going to be bigger than the last bull run. Yeah. Therefore, the narratives and the utilities within that crypto yeah, yeah, yeah. cycle are going to be bigger this time. Obviously, us being GameFi. But <laughs> why, again, some people say we're relatively smart is because with Pika Moon, we're taking on two narratives. Yes, we are. Which... Crypto is all about narratives, guys. What's going to pump next? What's going on? AI this, GameFi this. With Pikmin, we are a fully-fledged GameFi project, as you know. Beta's out, Fifteen to 20,000 users on that beta right yeah. now. Huge community, open world development has started, et cetera, et cetera. But our name, Pikmin, our brand, our feel, our energy in the community also allows us to play and dabble in the meme coin narrative as well. Pika Moon, <laughs> right? The clue is in the name, guys. Now, a lot of market commentators, you know, we see these guys trying to use Pika Moon to, you know, rank high on Google, like these news articles. Yeah. We're getting a lot of free publicity, guys. And a lot of these guys are talking about Pika Moon as a meme coin because yeah. these writers just, Go and see what's popping. For example, when we were the number one trading coin on BitGet. Yeah. They go on that and go Peak Moon. Oh, that must be a meme coin. Yeah, yeah. And I saw like 10 to 12 articles the next day calling Peak Moon a meme coin because meme coins were going crazy at that time. Exactly. Now, guys, we're not going to sit here and go, no, we're a GameFire project. The reason why we put named it Peak Moon is because we always knew tapping into two narratives, GameFi and Pikamoon is stronger than one. Yeah. Because it attracts two types of community members. And the smart ones understand that two together gives us a bigger potential in the future. So I just wanted to talk about that when it comes to trends. Unreal. Unreal. And yeah, there's so much more that we want to cover in terms of crypto. But we do have something else which is very big. Yeah, I think, Nick, you're the best to answer this. <laughs> so guys, if you've seen our pinned X tweet. Yeah. It's something very special about a certain party at $1 billion. I think, A, Nix, give, could you please give some context to that party? Yes. But then also dive into your crazy knowledge with <laughs> crypto culture <laughs> and community vibes and having fun and engagement, exactly. please. So, of course, you guys know we do have a very special person who joined us on the pre-sale. His name is Corey. So a big shout out to him. He was actually the person who threw the Project X party. Now, of course, the news narrative did position him in a certain light, but we have spoken to him and not everything is as it seems. But the big picture is at $1 billion valuation, we are going to invite 100 different community members to this party, we will pay for everything. And the idea is to give you guys a bit of enjoyment and to show how far we have come in this journey. Because we know we wouldn't have been able to do it without you. But the real milestone will be when we're there, we've all got a drink in our hand, we're all thanking each other, embracing what we have just completed. So if you guys wanna go and watch that, head to the Twitter, it is Pika Moon Coin. 
or it is called X now. And you will be able to see that on the pinned tweet. It's a quick video. It's got that amazing song, which you guys will all know. And it is very interesting to see that other people are already backing us that do believe in Peak Moon. But in terms of understanding crypto culture, now we know that it's about escaping the matrix, the nine to five, you know, about trying to be something that you're not. And that is when somebody labels you. And we believe that crypto is a different narrative because you can actually become the person you want to be. And this is where we try to invite and encourage everyone to speak up in the community. You know, we want to engage the entire time so that you guys have a voice, just how you guys listen to us all the time. And it's why we reach out and ask for your questions. We like to increase the community, increase the team from within. So make sure you're active because if you are a reply guy and if you are helping, people will see that. And it is all about being a good person in crypto. 100%. Very well said. And I think just to add my two cents, you know, crypto is all about having fun, guys. Yeah. A lot of people, unfortunately, they don't enjoy their work or they've got a lot of stresses in life. You know, we've come from humble beginnings. We understand all of this stuff and we don't forget that, you know, crypto and being part of a community is, like Nick said, it's taking you away from the noise of the day. Yeah. Jumping in the Discord. Checking out the latest development, the latest giveaway with Peak Moon. That how's the how's the price of the token? How, how, what's game development? You know, yeah. when's Nick's doing his next AMA? You know, it's about being part of a bigger family. You know, a wider family than your personal one. And we understand that at Peak Moon, and you know that is at the heart of everything we do. Again, coming back to the fact why we had no VCs, we want the power in the community's hands. Yeah. And yeah, I think we're, we're doing well for now, but we can't rest on our laurels. But yeah. I think Nick's, it's been a great podcast. I think, do you want to sign off? And yes. then I'm going to sign off with some alpha as well. Yeah, no, of course. So thank you guys, everyone for listening. You know, this wouldn't be possible without each and every single one of you. I will be active every day. Some people think I don't sleep, but these days I try and get a couple of hours in at least. But thank you everyone from myself and Comrade. But Comrade has something special to announce. I'm nervous now. <laughs> <laughs> Look, guys, I went on a rant last time <laughs> about three things that we promised. Yeah. And then delivered. Yeah. This time, I'm going to repeat the first three. Okay. And then add a fourth. Lovely. <laughs> okay. Number one, we launched in a bear market and promised to sell out and build a crazy community. We did it. We did. Number two, we said we we're going to release a beta game. And we did it. We did. 15 to 20,000 users, a lot of good feedback, a lot of things we need to improve. But we showed you a glimpse of what Peak Moon is about, well ahead of all of our competitors from the previous bull market. Yeah. Bullish. Number three, and the promise of the last podcast, I said we were going to launch on free exchanges and make serious noise and try and make you guys happy and proud. Right now, the token price is 300 to 350% up from the launch price. Guys, did we deliver? It's up to you. Are we happy with where we're at? Yes, but we know we want to go higher. Yeah, definitely. Cool. Number four. <laughs> we are cooking up an open world teaser trailer right now for you guys amazing and we are going to be launching on another sex another centralized exchange within two to three weeks we are cooking this up together to have two massive drops the trailer and a centralized exchange launch alongside 150 YouTubers talking about it and 100 people on X, guys. This is coming in the next two to three weeks. If you don't believe that we deliver on our words yet, after we deliver this, <laughs> I don't want to hear anything else. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.